Hello everybody, um, I made this little tool and I thought it would be useful, but it's a little complicated to understand how it works, uh, or rather how to use it, so uh, that's what this video is for. Um, so this is a little visualization tool for tiles. Um, you can see here I have the uh, crossbox wide tile, um, and what you can do is you can click and drag and sort of like move around the camera so you can see all the layers and like the parallax and stuff um and here if i choose it uh it, um you, you can actually change the parallax settings but that's not the point this is how to use it um so there's a little text tutorial here if you know you ever don't have this video or you ever forget but the way that it works is um let me actually use a different tile rather than crossbox wide. So I will do, let's see, background container. Cause, cause this has quite a bit of the, uh, you know, quirks in it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do actually before you do anything is get an extension called Shader Toy Custom Textures. It's on Chrome and or Firefox. Uh, no, it is on Chrome and Firefox. Um, I don't know about other browsers, uh, but you know, use Chrome or Firefox because I know that that works. Uh, anyways, so once you have that, you want to drag the tile texture into the thing, right? Um, and then you can also, if you want, drag a palette into uh, the second channel. Well, you have to, it's not an option, but you can use whatever palette you want, right? So so I'll use, uh, which one should I use? I'll use, I'll use Sky Island's palette. Uh, okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is find your init file and search up the tile, right? You're gonna to wanna to copy some of this data. So the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is copy the size, um, so this goes here. Then you're gonna to wanna to copy repeat L, which is repeat layers. Um, and when you do this, you wanna be very sure that you change this as well or else it's not going to compile so however many numbers that there are here so let's count um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen it's fourteen numbers you want to set this to be how many numbers there are here um the reason for that is specific to how i've implemented it um Anyways, so then you want to set buffer tiles and also the random. So here, buffer tiles. Now, th this one has three as it's random, but I just looking at the image, it, that doesn't look right. So I'm just going to override that and set five. Um, and then, you know, just hit this little play button down here. And then, uh, you know, drag around and, and view your, uh, your tile with your uh, palette. It's pretty awesome, I think. Um, and then, you know, if, if, if you're noticing, oh, the, the, well, this, this tile actually has five tiles. So what you can do is, um, I paused it, but if this is playing, every second it'll cycle through one of the different random things. So you can see it changing every second. And then if you want to stop on a specific one, just hit pause and oh, that's a bug I have to fix. But yeah, yeah, um, you just hit pause and then, you know, you'll, you'll be on that specific random one. And then just look at the second, right? Mod that by five or whatever the random is. And then that's how you know which one you're on. Um, so zero mod five, zero. So that's the first one. 1 mod 5, that's 1, that's the second one. You get the idea. 
Um, and let me do another example. So, what's a tile? What's uh, what's a tile? Inside huge pipe. Sure. Hey, look at that. That's pretty good. That's actually really cool. I know I like just made this, but like this is the first time I've done like an inside one. That that's pretty cool. I mean, I really like this. I think it's very awesome. But yeah, you, I hope you can see how this all uh, works and um, this will be able to help you with your own uh, little uh, uh, things. So yeah, that's uh, that's all I have to offer. So thank you guys so much for watching and being able to use this tool effectively. Um, and I will see you later. Bye bye.